Hello and welcome to the PyFi quick product summary video where we're going to answer some of the most commonly asked questions like what does a PyFi do? Is this for me? And what parts do I need? Jumping right in with one of the most common scenarios, you have two buildings, one with internet and one without. Usually the house with internet has enough signal leaking out about 20 yards away from the last wall of the house. That allows a PyFi at the second location to be installed outside and grab the signal up to one mile away. The PiFi is acting as a bridge between the two locations to grab internet that's leaking from the outside of the house and pass it to a new router inside the second building. By placing the PiFi outside the walls of the structure, you're able to grab the signal with the best potential in order to bypass the outside walls of the second structure, allowing the router inside to get the best possible internet. This new router then retransmits the internet allowing multiple devices that are Wi-Fi enabled to connect. This system is universally compatible with any Wi-Fi enabled device. Things like PCs, phones, tablets, smart TVs, home devices, security cameras, they all allow you to stream your favorite shows, social media, even music and game over this repeated system. Anything that is Wi-Fi enabled can connect to this new router and enjoy the internet from far away. Now let's take a deeper look at is this for me? We already covered the most common scenario, which is a home to a barn, shop, or garage, but you can also do it between two friendly neighbors and even a business in your home. Another common scenario is an RV campground. RVs are great at blocking signal from the campground Wi-Fi hotspot. Putting one of these in your RV will help you bridge that gap. Now let's look over what parts do I need Every system requires a PiFi repeater based kit, an antenna, a mount, and a router. The PiFi, which can be seen as the brains of the operation, comes with a 50 foot ethernet cable and all the necessary power adapters to make this work. This mounts outside next to the antenna. When choosing the antenna, you have the option between a directional and an omnidirectional. A directional antenna must be aimed and allows for better range and better speeds overall through the system. An omnidirectional antenna has a 360 degree radiation pattern. So it's great for RVs and mobile users who are going from spot to spot and don't want to have to aim every time they get to a new location. Mounting the system outside is easy. We include hardware that allows for installation on most J poles and tripods. The hardware allows for poles up to two inches wide. Your mounting application may vary depending on what gives you the best vantage point to your hotspot. A clear line of sight makes a huge difference in the potential performance of your Wi-Fi system. Once the signal is captured outside, it must travel inside and be connected to a router so that multiple devices can connect to it wirelessly. We offer two different types, a professional and a recreational router. The type you choose depends on your budget and your potential needs of bandwidth and usability on the other side of the system. The recreational version is great for people who have just a few devices to connect. A few cameras, one or two TVs, a few smartphones, and so on. More demanding users that want the best possible speeds would choose a professional router. This higher grade version is dual band capable. That means the signal coming from this router is both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. You will have two SSIDs coming from it. All devices that need faster connectivity can use a 5 gigahertz frequency for increased throughput and bandwidth. This kind of router is often referred to as a smart router. It recognizes which devices need more bandwidth and allocates better speeds to those devices on the network. Both routers have four ethernet ports on the back. This allows you to go LAN between the router and other devices that you would want to physically wire to the internet. Lastly, the PiFi works with any router off the shelf. If you have a router laying around, you can use that with this system. Now the last step is to set up your network. Once you've made your physical connections, take any Wi-Fi enabled device like a PC, phone, or tablet and wirelessly connect to the router that's connected to the PiFi. At this point, it's handy to have the network name and password if needed to the network that you want the PiFi to connect to. Now on your Wi-Fi device, open up Chrome, Safari, or Firefox and go to the webpage 192.168.89.1. This is the PiFi setup page. Once it loads, you'll see all the available signals available to the PiFi. You simply choose the signal that you want. Once connected, you get a check mark, and the system now has internet for multiple devices. 
it's ready to go. The Pi 5 is the easiest, most durable, furthest reaching, and fastest repeating network receiver for consumers on the market today. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy this. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at pifinetworks.com.